Hey there, curious minds. Today, I'm diving into a fascinating little feature of the human body that you might not even know you have. The third eyelid. Yep, you heard that right. So let's talk about what it is, its benefits, and its essential function. First things first, what exactly is the third eyelid? Scientifically, it's known as the plica semilunaris. It's that small, pinkish, crescent-shaped fold of tissue located in the inner corner of your eye. While it may seem insignificant, this little structure actually has some pretty cool functions. Now, you might be wondering why is it called the third eyelid? Well, in many animals, like birds, reptiles and some mammals, there's a fully functional third eyelid called the nictitating membrane. This membrane can move across the eye to provide extra protection and moisture, almost like a windshield wiper. In humans, though, the plica semilunaris is just a vestigial structure. That means it's a leftover from our evolutionary past. So, what does our third eyelid actually do? For starters, it helps with tear drainage. The plica semilunaris assists in moving the tears from the outer surface of your eye towards the tear duct. This helps keep your eye moist and free of debris. It also contributes to the eye's immune responses, acting as a tiny barrier against potential infections. Interestingly, in some rare cases, the third eyelid can become more prominent due to certain conditions. For instance, in people with a condition called pterygium, the tissue can grow over the cornea, sometimes requiring surgical removal. But for most of us, it remains just a small, mostly unnoticed part of our eye anatomy. Why did humans lose the fully functional third eyelid? Evolution is all about adaptations that boost survival and reproduction. As our ancestors' lifestyles changed, the need for a nictitating membrane likely diminished. We evolved other ways to protect and lubricate our eyes, like blinking and tear production. So there you have it. The third eyelid might not be as flashy or functional as in other animals, but it's still a neat reminder of our evolutionary journey. Next time you look in the mirror, take a moment to appreciate this tiny hidden feature and its role in keeping your eyes healthy. If you enjoyed this deep dive into human anatomy, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more curious content. Thanks for watching and stay curious.